Hey guys, welcome to my university. In this video, we are going to be talking about the things that you can actually do if you are in your third year. Applying to grad school is a lengthy process and takes a lot of time and diligence on your part. Now, it's really important to shoot for a good school and just an admit is not enough. If you are in third year, there's a lot of things that you can actually do to make this happen. First, make sure that your academic credentials are in solid shape. Your GPA is going to be the most important factor when it comes to deciding your admission. The second thing that's going to help you a lot to get into a very good school the possibility of funding is your profile when we are seeing profile i talk about your academic credentials the internships that you have done the independent projects that you have done and any research assistantship experience that you have the first thing that you can do is apply for internships in really awesome tech companies a lot of tech companies mainly startups have unpaid internship positions if you are in a big city with a lot of startups that is a great avenue for you to explore if your college also supports a post graduate degree program if there are students who are pursuing their mtech or ms in your current college then you can approach the professors who are advising these students and then you can try to get an independent research project if the above two options do not work and uh, if you're in a city that's close to one of the iits you can email the professors to see if there are any independent research projects that are available now there is no guarantee that they are going to agree but if you have very good academic credentials and if you are passionate about pursuing research work mostly the professors are going to say yes and they're going to take you in when you send an email to a professor be respectful and do not spam their inbox if a professor is saying no respect that decision and contact another professor under whom you would like to work the third important thing is your test scores mainly your gre and toefl i'm not going to be talking too much about it because you all know that it is very important one thing that i would like to mention is that your gre scores is just a requirement if you have a strong profile that can actually help you if your gre scores are slightly lower than what the university expects but not the other way around the next thing that you can do is working on the format of your resume again this is probably the last thing that you should consider if you have already done some of the things that i've told you previously then concentrate on your resume your resume is something that you can actually send out to professors here in the u.s even before you apply for a master's to see if they are willing to take you in as a research assistant when you do that please make sure that you change the format of your resume if you're interested in receiving a template use the link in the description box below all right guys with that i would like to conclude this video if you have more questions please feel free to comment if you like this video, share and subscribe.